Usually on Techno Buffalo, we talk about technologies. It's, it's mobile, it's the latest cell phone, it's the latest tablet. It's sort of new cutting edge technologies. And when we talk about stuff that's going to be coming, generally it's like cloak and dagger stuff. We got an exclusive from a source, we got a water market, but very rarely do you actually get a chance to see prototypes before they hit the market. I've been doing a lot of research on new technologies. I want to sort of start a new series on Techno Buffalo where you can show these emerging technologies almost before they're ready for mass market. So you can sort of participate in what technology is going to be. I've been doing a lot of research on HCIs or human computer interfaces. Uh, for a lot of reasons, kind of selfishly, uh, I'm developing worse and worse carpal tunnel syndrome in my wrist. So one of the reasons I was looking for this technology is obviously I spent a lot of time staring at a phone and I'm starting to get eye degradation. In my research, uh, I found sort of a new technology, new way to interact with computers and, and things uh, called Wolfie. So I reached out to the folks to see if they let me show it in our first video and they were surprisingly super eager. Um, so they flew down here and actually have the very first prototype, or it's actually one of four prototypes um, of the Wolfie HCI. And it's a pretty cool way to interact with things in general. So first, it sits ergonomically in your hand, which is obviously nice. And from sitting here in my chair, on my couch, in my living room, anywhere except my desk like this hunched over, I can interact with my computer, whether it's Mac or PC, Wolfie don't care. Yeah, so here's a run through of the control and it can simulate a mouse, you know, your left click, your right click and being able to scroll around. So the top part here is a trackpad and it's also a button you can click. The top part here is also a button, it's another trackpad and it's kind of you scroll up and down like you would if a mouse if you're sort of using your finger. You can also click that. And then this button on the side here, um, that is not touch, that's just a button you can click and it also would simulate what your right click uh, would be. So at least as it stands right now, it charges via micro USB. The charging should last about a week and the sort of blue ring will give you a battery indicator. So as you 75%, it'll start to go down uh, and it'll change colors to let you know how much battery you have without having to like, check an app or, or worry about it just dying on you all of a sudden. So it's always kind of right in your eyesight how much juice you got left. So it uses Bluetooth low energy. You'll pair it like any other Bluetooth. It doesn't need to install anything. It just works right away. You can interact with your computer. So this is a very early prototype. This won't be shipping until sometime middle-ish uh, of next year, but you can see what the future is going to be, and it's going to be less mouse and keyboard. I don't think it's going to replace mouse and keyboard, at least not yet. It's kind of meant to be used in conjunction with. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm looking at just a news feed here on Google News. I can go ahead and simply scroll just with my finger. And we've seen sort of similar technologies before, things like an air mouse, for example, where you can sort of move around. But then if you want to click something, you got to keep your hand there click and if you move your hand you can end up getting the cursor all over the place. This is pretty simple. My finger naturally rests on the top and I can just sort of do a very sort of simple scroll. Find an article I want to read like let's see what's going on in the world. Usually not a fun place right now. I just go ahead and click it and it'll just take me there. It works extremely well and it's not just limited to computers. Uh, you can pair it to your Android phone for example and if you use a Chromecast or use a, a Google TV device essentially use your phone, plug it in as a substitute for that device. And you get full control over your mobile phone. Uh, there's even a back button, so you don't have to worry about sort of finding an X or clicking on a home button. It's very simple to go back. So you can play games, you can control YouTube, you can control Prime Video, what other video apps you want to do, uh, Wolfie can control it. When it comes to things that you do on a mouse and keyboard, things like text input, you can pull up a virtual keyboard uh, on Windows or Mac, and you can sort of scroll over and you could tap the letter. Um, you know, that's an area where I think a mouse and keyboard is going to sort of reign supreme probably for a while. Um, but you can do very simple text edits with this. The best use case and the simplest use case and the most obvious use case, I think is where the beauty of this product shines, um, is just browsing content, consuming content, which I spend a lot of my time doing. More, more time I like to admit on, on Facebook, scrolling through a newsfeed, on Techno Buffalo, reading articles, uh, researching new emerging technology, the sort of what I've been doing and spending my time with. This is a great way to do it, and I'm hoping it's going to save my wrist. So what I like about this, and bear this in mind as you sort of evaluate the technology, is the fact that they brought this to us as a prototype. We are still months and months and months away from this actually shipping. So what's exciting isn't necessarily what it can do right now, and it does a lot. It's what I think it can do in the future. What the future of human computer interfaces is going to be. So if you guys want to know more about Wolfie and what it can do, Go to wolfietechnologies.com. We'll link to their website, Facebook. There's even a Kickstarter for trying to help fund this thing. 
down below. I encourage you to check them out. So I think a couple questions that I want to ask you guys is what could you do with something like this? How could you envision it working? Would it be being able to interact with a combination of all those gestures, just talking to it like you would with, with an Echo? Is it just touchpad, being able to control things, using a conjunction in the mouse and a keyboard? I want to know. For me, it's content consumption. So I mentioned at the beginning, this is the first in a series of emerging technology videos. If there's another aspect of emerging technologies you want us to check out, let us know. We're already researching battery technology, something new that's going to be coming out. Um, but this is cool. And something that you guys want to see, we'll do the research for you. We'll reach out to companies on your behalf and let you know what technologies could be, what they could do in the future. So please leave a comment down below. We're really nervous making a video like this, showing a new technology. Please give the video a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Till next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo.